Hello all and welcome back to the Kitchen Top where we play Pauper Commander and other such formats. We're back with another 1v1 Pauper Commander game with Kyle playing Numa and Miara and me playing Satire Enchanter. Kyle keeps an opening hand of Elvish Mystic, Might of the Masses, Lanawar Scout, Golgari Guildgate, a Swamp and two Forests. Nine Mulligan down to Force to Worship, Disenchant, Oblivion Ring, Fertile Ground, Forest, Plains, and I bottom an Aura Monster. This is my first spell table game that I've recorded and uploaded, so the quality is a little lower than previous games. However, this does mean I can film more Paw Pokemon for you guys, so that's exciting. Without any further ado, let's get to the game. Kyle opens with a Golgari Guildgate and passes turn. We both play Forest, and Kyle taps two for Lanawar Scout. I play a Plains and tap two for a Fertile Ground on my Forest. Kyle plays a Swamp and then activates his Scout to put a Forest into play, and then tapping said Forest to cast an Elvish Mystic. He follows us up by tapping 3 and casting his commander, Numa. In my turn, I tap 3 for Nissa's Pilgrimage, getting 2 forests, 1 to the battlefield tapped and 1 to hand, which I then play as my land for turn. Kyle plays a forest and taps 4, activating Numa, putting a counter on his scout and Numa. He then swings in with these two. I take 5 and 3 Numa damage, and Kyle taps 2 to cast Miara. I pay the 3 mana to cast my commander, then pay a white to cast Hyena Rumba, drawing a card and a green to cast Briar Shield, drawing another card. I then play a Plains for turn. Kyle plays a Swamp for turn, and then taps 4 mana to activate Numa's ability, putting a counter on her and Miara. He swings in with Lanawar Scout and the Elvish Mystic. I block the Mystic, killing it, taking 2 damage, and then Kyle activates Miara's triggered ability, drawing a card. I tap 2 to cast a Forced Worship on Miara, drawing a card, and tap another 3 for Pentarch Ward. When it enters, I name Protection from Black and draw 2. In my end step, Kyle flashes in Omen of the Dead, getting Elvish Mystic back to his hand, and in his turn, pays the green to cast said Elvish Mystic. Following this, he pays 4, activating Numa, putting 2 more counters on herself. I play a Forest, and tapping 3 mana, cast Verdant Haven, gaining 2 life and drawing a card. Then tapping said Forest, cast an Oblivion Ring, drawing a card, then exiling Numa. Kyle taps 2 and casts the Roots of Wisdom, revealing a Tajiru Path Warden, forest and a thriving moor. He takes a pass warden and puts the rest to the yard. In his end step I return forced worship to my hand, then in my turn I play a forest and tap 3 to cast forced worship again, drawing another card. Tapping 1 I play a conviction, drawing a card. Then I pay 3 for a crucifix's insight, putting an ethereal armor, market festival and a cage of hands into my hand. I pay one for the ethereal armor, drawing a card, and put it under my rapidly increasing size of auras. I swing in and Kyle blocks with Elvish Mystic. Then I discard to hand size. In the end step he sacrifices Omen of the Dead to scry two, and then for turn pays five for an entourage of trash, becoming the monarch. I tap six and cast a humbler of mortals, drawing a card. I play a planes and tap a further three for cage of hands, drawing another card. I swing in for 14 commander damage and become the monarch. I draw a card for monarch and discard to hand size. Kyle plays a Woodland Chasm and taps 3 for an Eye Blight's Ending, destroying my Humbler of Mortals. Taps a further green for a Lanawar Elves and pass turn. I pay 3 for an Elephant Guide and carefully put it under my commander. And I draw a card. I pay a white for a Tragic Poet and a further 3 for a Wood Elves, fetching a Forest to Field, and then attack with my commander. Kyle blocks with Miara. Kyle recast Miara, paying the mana for it, and then taps 3 for Unholy Indenture on her. I play a forest, crack my tragic poet to get back and cast Humbler of Mortals, drawing a card. I admittedly get a bit BM here and continue casting spells, cast an Oakenform, drawing a card, cast Vessel of Narcency, drawing another card, activate Vessel of Narcency, putting a Presence of Gone to hand. I then swing in with a 23-24 with Trample for the win. What a quick game, ladies and gentlemen. Kyle had a good start with Numa and Miara, but just could not keep up with my removal and limiting auras that I kept on casting. Satire Enchanter had an incredibly strong game. Opening early with protection from black is a near death sentence in a format that so emphasizes the importance of targeted removal. That paired with the consistent card draw and the eventual trample made it incredibly difficult for Kyle to get on top of it. Satire Enchanter is an incredibly powerful general. And if we ever have a ban list for our format, it will probably be a consideration at the very least. Now, that was a very short game, however, this gives me a good chance to talk about my exciting new announcement with this video. Starting from now, you, that is right, you, 
can have free access to my brand spanking new Sensei's Kitchen Top Discord. Now, I have quite a specific vision for what I want this Discord to be. I'm adamant that I do not want this to just become a place to generically discuss Pulp Commander. While I'm sure that we will be talking about it, there are places way better equipped for that, such as the PDH Homebase Discord and the PDH Pals Discord, both of which I highly, highly recommend you join. The SKT Discord will be focused around the YouTube channel and videos uploaded to it. Be used to discuss previous videos and gameplay, deck lists that could be used in future videos, discussions on the type of content uploaded by me, and potentially even recording some games with you guys. I'm aware of how underrepresented our format is on YouTube and as a whole, and I think we have the opportunity to build something that progresses the format and brings a bit more attention to it. I'm looking forward to discussing different ways of doing deck techs and gameplay videos and so on and so forth that highlight the fun that can be found in this format, especially given the rising cost of magic as a hobby. You can find the link to the Discord in the description below, along with the links to PDH Homebase, the PDH Pals, and the deck list from today's game. Thank you so much for watching guys, I'm very excited about the future of this channel and the format. I will see you in the SKT Discord and, as ever, in the next video.